Water is the 21st century weapon of war and a measure of economic might. The worry becomes more real now that water resources are fast dwindling. Reports indicate human activity is more than ever a major contributor to climate change, which ultimately leads to water shortage. In 2014, the United Nations Panel on Climate Change declared that there is a 95% certainty humans contribute to climate change. The report paints a gloomy picture of world's water resources if no urgent action is taken. All this and much more illustrate an overarching need for prudent use of water resources. Sasa wewe kama unatumia maji ya mtu mahali unatumia, unajaribu kuweka hiyo mtu hapo ni safi. Matakataka, makaratasi ya sabuni, kumwaga mwaga hivi, eh. Water is used for various reasons. This include cooking, drinking, washing, cleaning and irrigation among others. If one is not careful while using water, it can result to misuse. These are instances where water that needs to be conserved goes on wastage. For instance, when taps are left running and when cars are being washed. If misuse doesn't come to a stop, we will continue to experience water rationing and shortages in the various parts of the country. However, a solution to this seems to lie in water recycling. This is reusing treated wastewater for beneficial purposes such as toilet flushing, agricultural and landscape irrigation among others. Water recycling is mainly in relation to the water that is coming from all other disposing, like from the toilets, from the kitchen, from the bathrooms and whatever, like where the people stay, that water we recycle it. Uh, using a plant which is uh, installed here called Biobox. This process is fast picking especially in the urban areas where there is high population. Marist International University College is one of the institutions in Nairobi which has embraced water recycling. We are using the normal uh, septic tank to deal with our waste and sometimes it was becoming difficult. First of all, it takes a big space because as an institution, the amount of waste that comes from the, all the toilets, the kitchen and all that, it was quite huge. So it means we had, in, we had to create enough space for dealing with waste. But with this plant, even if we are reclaiming the, the other part that we, we are keeping for uh, just uh, dealing with waste. We generate money from the grounds that are very close. We use the water also for our watering our ground, football ground, which is, means that our students they can play on a very good uh, pitch, uh, which is really uh, a benefit from recycling the plant, I mean uh, recycling the water. The institution has been using the water recycling plant for the past four years. Here are the processes involved. Uh, after the sewage water comes from um, the building, it comes to the septic tank. And once it gets to the septic tank, it is drawn here to this first tank here. The process starts from here. But here it's less of the weight. Now it gets to the second one with the lesser residues from uh, the septic tank. That's what happens. And then once it gets here, it's sieved a bit of it. Now what remains is a bit clear water to the third tank. The process, and the second and the third process, now the water is almost clear. To eliminate the benefit of doubt, we get to the fourth tank. Yeah. Expect um, uh, the water is clear due to the shape of this tank. Is in case of anything that has been uh, maybe passed over from these three tanks, when it gets here, due to the design of this tank, the waste will go down. What will go over to the last tank is fresh water. This move is appreciated by both students and staff. There's nothing that you can do without the water there because uh, it is used in uh, cleaning, cleaning the classrooms, uh, whatever, any uh, toilets, washrooms, you know. About two kilometers from Marist, we find Tangaza University College, which has more students compared to those in Marist. However, Tangaza is yet to embrace water recycling. The institution has a big septic tank where all the used water is collected and channeled out of the school. Contrary to water recycling, this method is more expensive. Water that we use that uh, used in the toilet goes to a septic tank. 
a big septic tank that is about 180 cubic meters. And then it, it joins, we have uh, something we call uh, a soccer area where we have planted bananas or large forage um, plants that helps us to absorb that water. For sure. In fact, if it were possible, as you can see, we have several houses that actually most of them are members of Tangasa University College as members of the Board of Trustees. If I were asked, I would advise them to get one big land, get it, and they do the recycling there, where we can recycle water to generate uh, uh, even food, for example. Or use that water to get our, our loans or to do what we can. That would be, I would encourage anybody to do so, because it is the way to go. Actually, Tangasa has a plan in becoming a green university. That means even in terms of lighting, we would be using things like solar. If Tangaza is to embrace water recycling, the move will be appreciated by the students. An experience in another institute, and I was thinking that it could be a good idea also if Tangaza can also buy the idea. Because I've experienced water shortage in this institute, and I see a lot of water sometimes going to waste. So probably it could be a good idea if uh, Tangaza also try to by the idea of water recycling. Be able to recycle water, definitely you'll have a, a low bill at the end of the month, so you don't have to pay much amount to the municipal water. So instead of losing water, you reclaim it and you make it to use in other areas such as watering of plants. And then at the end of the day, you definitely cut cost on the bill. It's very good because it helps us to make good use of uh, an efficient use of uh, our resources, water resources not wasting water uh, uselessly. We know that water is a, an issue. We have places where there is no water. And uh, we know that even some boreholes, they just dry up like this, which push some people to think that maybe water is not a, a renew, renewable uh, resource. You see that the water that we use to flush after you use this uh, latrines, they are not, uh, at times it, it's insufficient, occasionally, though it's not rampant, but at times we experience that. So yeah, if I consider the situation in our school here, because my, the college does a lot to ensure that there is enough the water, but even with their much effort to avail the water, a time comes. So I believe, and I'm sure that if they, if, that practice of recycling water, if it is, if it is not existing right now at, and is brought in, I think even the little shooting that comes occasionally can't ne can never be seen there. I believe so. People working in areas like car wash where water misuse is bound to happen will also appreciate water recycling. <laughs> According to a research I conducted in Nairobi in 2014, 38% of the respondents were unaware of water recycling. The remaining population is aware of it and will actually consider it. That it is good because we can use the water in other things like uh, using it in the lawns, using it in for flower uh, flowers, growing flowers, and uh, also for cleaning. In some cases, there is some places where we don't have water, and uh, there is some importance why we used to recycling water. One is like uh, not wasting water and uh, another one is for making those who can miss water to have it. For uh, example in irrigation, farming and uh, other use of water. So what does it take to have water recycling plant up and running? The water recycling plant we have seen in Marist is a simpler project. Bigger projects are installed to cater for larger populations. For instance, Nairobi has the Roy treatment plant. It is a city water and sewerage company dealing with wastewater from homesteads and industries.
This plant caters for the whole of Nairobi County. The only difference is the more sophisticated machinery. The lab technician takes us through the process. Okay, it is a part of the Nairobi City Water and Sewerage Company, but we, we, on this side we are dealing with the wastewater, whereby we collect the wastewater that comes from the homestead, that is the estates and the industries. Then we treat we treat the water so that you can release to the environment, so that people are able to live in a harmon and, and clean environment. So here we do only two processes of the water treatment. One is what we call the physical treatment, whereby we are removing the solid waste materials that come with the water. And then the second one is the biological treatment, whereby now we are using the bacteria in the water to, to remove the the, the organic, the, the solid uh, waste that is in the water. The plant is facing a number of challenges. One of the challenges that we are facing at the moment uh, is the dumping. People are dumping a lot of solid waste to our, our sewer lines. So we, we are receiving a lot of solid waste that comes with the water and our machines are always breaking down. So we, the, the maintenance of the machines has gone up because it is breaking down every now and then. Then another thing, the, the plant itself, although we have started expansion we, because we are accommodating more, because there are new sewer lines that are being constructed, they are coming all the way here. Another challenge is uh, maintaining the environment itself, because it's a, quite a large area, because so far we are covering 2,000 acres of land, and it's an open area, and people have already encroached part of it. They're trying as much as possible to live with them harmoniously, though they are illegal. Uh, they are illegally uh, grabbing our, our land. So that is another challenge. Uh, another one is that uh, the plant, since the plant is big, maintaining it is also a challenge. So, and we have fans in a while, we hire casuals to come and help us out. But for the regular maintenance, the number of employees, we are few. Because mostly the ponds are the most, where the, most of the maintenance work is. So we require more employees to come and help us out because down there now, because machine breakdown, there's a lot of waste that goes to the, to the ponds. So it, the efficiency is not as we expect. We are not going to, to meet, uh, although we are meeting at 80%, we want to improve to at around 90-95%. Water also we are, we, are, we are also encouraging people to, to do irrigation with the water because it is treated. Because since we do analysis on a daily basis, we know the harmful uh, elements that, have been, that were there initially as the water was coming in, and the levels have reduced drastically according, according to the standards that NEMA has set to, for that. And actually we, we have written so, so many proposals because to reduce the, 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 the shortage of water in Nairobi, this water can be recycled. We establish a water bed whereby now the, there is a weed that purifies the water further. And the water is clean and purified, we can chemically treat it and return it back to the system. Contrary to popular belief that water recycling can only be adopted by bigger institutions, it is something that even you can do as long as you get the right training. For the institutions, uh, most of them have their own recycling uh, processes that they do because they have established the way, as they saw here, what we are doing. So even them, they have come up with a way that they, are, they recycle their water. Although theirs is a simple process, they just pass the water through sand filters, they filter the water, they are doing irrigation with it, some of them. We also have other stakeholders also, they were using the, the, the water, the raw sewage as it was coming in. But after we educated them on the, uh, the dangers of using the, the, the raw sewage, other than the treated one, uh, we came up uh, with a solution for them that they can pass the same water through the sand filters and the waste is filtered, then they can use the, 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 the water for irrigation. So we're also encouraging others to partner with us in case they want to know how they can do their own in uh, smaller quantities because ours is a large volumes, but for smaller quantities there is a simple way of the way they can recycle their water. Water is life. If we don't take care of this resource, we all die. Let's embrace water recycling as one of the means of conserving water.